Hi everyone, great to see you. Just arrived, so just catching up on your comments. And I think I'm just as excited as you are, so that's good. Hi Sue, morning. Hi Dave. Hi Valerie. <laughs> Hi Charlotte. Yes, please look after me. Hi Maggie. Hi Kath. Morning Jane. Good evening, Jane Anderson. It's definitely the morning for me here in Manchester. Hi Marianne, hi Susanna. Hi Annalisa, hi Penny, morning, morning. Hi Liz, lovely to see you again. Oh, I'm really glad Charlotte, that's good to hear. In fact, my uh, job for the rest of the day is to um, keep on mixing the tracks for the Lord's Prayer for those of you who uh, took part in that project. Uh, we've got our concert for the Lord's Prayer on Thursday this week, I think, Thursday afternoon. So straight from Bach back to the Lord's Prayer, it's quite a change of scene. <laughs> hi Jill, hi Rob. Hi Jan. Morning Megan. Ah, oh, great, Megan, you're real new to this work. That's what I like to hear. That's great. Lovely way to, to, to learn it, meet it. Hi, Leslie. Oh, the Lake District. Very jealous. <laughs> oh, no way, in Didsbury. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'm in West Didsbury. Morning Anne, good to hear that it's new to you as well. I think that's exciting. And morning Linda from Kent. Hi Anna from Portugal, nice to see you again. I'm glad to see uh, there are plenty of people who are new to this. Um, I think that's great. I hope, I'm hoping that the course kind of caters for all, you know, that you learn something new if you're coming back to it, but actually if you're brand new to the piece, uh, that it's a nice introduction and a good way in. Oh, hi Maggie. Um, we are going to do a little bit of singing today actually with the score. Um, I'll talk about that when I'm, when once it gets to 11 o'clock, because I just want to make sure everyone's here. Um, and I'll just chat about making sure you've got the score ready and um, open at the same time. And I'll try and help people go through that if they're struggling to have both open at the same time. That's the YouTube and the score. Great to see all these people joining us. Morning, Moira. Morning, Nina. Hi everyone. The score I think is in your welcome pack as far as I'm aware, but um, you can find it online if you've not got it to hand. And again, I, once it's turned 11 o'clock and I've, I know I've kind of got most people here, I will post a link in the chat so that if you're struggling to get it quickly, you can just use my link for today and then you can go back through your emails and find that score that you've been sent. Um, I'll post that link in a minute. <laughs> That's true, Mark.
Oh, that's nice to hear, Linda. No SMS. Oh. Ah, oh, Janet. Hello from Stafford Choral Society. Going to do a big shout out to Stafford Choral Society today. My fantastic choral society. And I let them know about this course and I feel like there are a few, I, I, hopefully Beryl's here, so a shout out to Beryl. Um, and it's wonderful to have you. The new Novello edition, Marion, that should be compatible. I will go through uh, the, the scores as well, the editions as well, um, once it's uh, gone 11. Again, I just want to make sure that uh, I catch everyone with that information. Hi, Albert. Well, <laughs> that's great, Susanna. That means you can't um, argue. Hi Tess. Uh, Dave, we're going to have a look at the opening chorus, just number one, although it's quite long, <laughs> but just number one. Jane, I am using the Bear and Writer score. I, it's my favorite edition. So you and me are the same there. Hooray, Beryl, hello, hello. Good morning, Colette. Hi, Di. Hi, Carol. Hi, Norbert from Germany, wonderful. You're going to find the German, hopefully, a little bit easier than others. That's good news, Dave. Hopefully you'll get that done in time. I'm sure I'll chat on for a little while. Hi, Paula. Jill, what time do I plan to finish today? Uh, well, I'm hoping that this will run on no later than 11.45, I think. Um, I can't imagine that it will. Uh, we're only going to sing through the first chorus and we're gonna have uh, just a bit of a chat. I'm just going to introduce um, some kind of features of the course and who's involved and so on. Uh, and then we'll warm up together and we'll sing the chorus. I'm just gonna wait till 11 o'clock exactly in case people are still piling in. It's actually exploded. A score has exploded. Wow. I wish I'd seen that. <laughs> Hi, Jill from South Manchester. I'm from South Manchester. Snaps. Brilliant. Well, we're coming up to 11 o'clock, so I will start very shortly. Hi, Christine. You will need the score today, Carol, if possible, the uh, just the opening chorus. But if anyone's struggling with the score, do not do not worry today. I, I have a backup plan for you uh, and I will sort that out. Uh, hi, uh, Roz. Um, great to see you here today. Uh, and thank you for your Lord's Prayer recording as well. Uh, hi, Graham. The course of Ah, no problem, Marion. Uh, in that case, I will sort that out. Hi, John. Hi, Andy and Anne from Altrincham. Great. Not too far away from you. Hi, Joanne. I'm much further away from you. <laughs> Don't worry about the score. I promise I'll help you in a sec. Hello, Paul Marshall. Great that you're here. <laughs> um, and now it's 11 o'clock, so I have to do my biggest shout out of the day today. 
before we begin, which is to my wonderful mum, who hopefully has made it to watch today uh, and has signed up to the course. So big shout out to my fantastic mum. And hello everyone, a big shout out to everyone here today. I'm going to get going with, it's just gone 11 o'clock, so hopefully everyone's here who uh, wants to be here. Uh, what's the deal today? Well, I'm just simply going to chat through the course, what's going on with it, who's involved, and then I thought we'd do a big warm up and then perhaps sing the first chorus together, just as a, and, and it will be a bit of a kind of baptism of fire for those of you who haven't ever looked at this piece before or even heard it. That's fine, you know, maybe you just want to follow the score today, that's no problem, but I thought it'd be a really nice way to just uh, crash right on in. Um, now, for those of you who are, <laughs> for those of you who are worried about not having the score today, um, don't worry. Um, I'm going to try and post a link in the chat right now, and I'll post it again later. So don't worry. Um, and uh, hopefully this will work. If you click on that, or if you copy and paste that, does that work for you? Just just give me a yes at, at some point um, if you can. Uh, open that score and we'll just be looking at the first chorus um, and this is for much later on so don't there's no rush um, and if you can then you can try and get your YouTube window on one side of the screen and you can try and have the score on the other side of the screen uh, and then hopefully you'll be able to see me and the score so that you can see me uh, conducting as well um, I'll leave that there for now um, let me know if that's not working then I can give better instructions to find a, another score. Um, in the meantime how fantastic that we're looking at this work and it, for me it's even more um, kind of moving and sentimental for me because just at the beginning of lockdown I was about to be the uh, chorus director for two St John Passions uh, with English touring opera who were coming around the country um, with their professional uh, cast, basically, and joining with choirs around the country in whichever venue they were touring to, whichever city. Um, so I was looking forward to being the chorus director for Manchester Chamber Choir and for Chester Festival Chorus um, in Chester Story House and at Buxton Opera House, which would have been fantastic. And sadly, of course, it was all just wiped uh, from the diary as it had to be. Um, so uh, I then got the phone call from Mark uh, suggesting that we run a St John Passion course and of course, of course, I said uh, yes. Um, so here we are now uh, in October and here's the course. Um, the things I'd like to um, introduce are the people involved to begin with. So um, of course I'm the course director, I'm the musical director uh, and the wonderful people that you can hear on the recordings that you are able to sing along with are the singers of Cantos Chamber Choir and James Orford, uh, an incredible organist. Uh, James is playing the organ of Westminster Cathedral in these recordings. I hope you enjoy it. I think it sounds phenomenal. Um, so uh, do enjoy his playing. I've never met James, but we've had uh, wonderful chats now and I feel like I have met him in person <laughs> through working virtually together on this. Um, the singers of Cantos Chamber Choir, well, we've got Charlotte Trepas on soprano, we've got Lorna Day on alto, Robin Wallington on tenor and Peter Brooks on bass. And last but not least, we've got Zahid Siddiqui, uh, who's currently studying at the Royal Academy of Music um, and he is the evangelist, uh, which is an incredibly difficult part in the St John Passion. Uh, and you'll be able to hear a lot of what Zahid does if you listen to the recitative uh, chats. Uh, the, sorry, the recitative tracks on uh, YouTube. Um, the other thing to mention is that Robin Wallington, who is the tenor for uh, the St John Passion um, in the chorus, uh, he has created a German pronunciation video to go through the work with you um, to look at the German specifically in the choruses. Um, and he's much better at German than I am. Um, so if you want to get to grips with that before you come to the uh, kind of musical course, 
then that's I would suggest you, you kind of work through a bit of Robin's video, then maybe come to the, the musical part of the course with me after that, um, as I must hand over to him for German expertise. Um, whilst I'm rambling on, feel free to post any uh, questions you have about any of this really. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be a logistics question um, in the chat and I will try and keep up with that. I may answer them a little bit later but just pop those there. Um, I'm reading as much as I can. Uh, so we've got James Orford on the organ and we've got Cantos Chamber Choir. Normally Cantos uh, we'd use a bigger choir uh, for our a cappella concerts but actually for this project we've used individual voices to record the whole thing so actually when you're singing with a with a track you'll find you're singing with one singer which is really nice for clarity and crispness and hearing the exact pitches you know hearing the exact crisp pronunciation and so on so I think that works really really nicely uh, in this setting if you want to hear a little bit more of Cantos Chamber Choir um, then on Friday we're actually releasing an online concert uh, on our website or on Facebook so you can either find us on Facebook Cantos Chamber Choir and you can join the online event or you can simply turn up to our website which is cantoschamberchoir.com and if you click the button that says in the field um, you'll find our concert which we recorded in a field um, so on Friday evening that is um, UK time uh, it would be wonderful if you could join us to watch that and it's available afterwards as well. Um, so that's a bit about James and Cantos. Um, then there's me. Um, I'm going to be leading your uh, sessions which you'll find on YouTube. So they're uh, not live sessions, um, they've already been recorded as a course. Um, and that kind of brings me on to uh, the way the course works I guess. Um, so. Hi Andrew, just noticed your comment. <laughs> that brings me on to the way the course works, uh, which is that uh, the kind of the lucky thing, I guess, about it not being live is that of course you can stop and start the course videos as you please, you know? You can't kind of pause live Ellie, sadly, um, but you can pause the YouTube videos uh, that, that take you through the entire work or the entire choruses of the, of the full work. Um, so what I've tried to do is condense the, the, the work into four hour long videos. So in each video, we look at about seven choruses. There's, there's roughly 28 choruses. I think, I think there are 29 for all of the voice parts except the basses who have 28. You're not in one of them. Um, so we look at roughly seven per session, uh, which is quite a lot to get through in an hour. Um, so it's a it's kind of quick fire really and the idea is that you could pause and just look at one you know per you know you can sit down and you can just look at one chorus that day and then rewind maybe look at it again with me um, because I'll go through the notes at least once in those sessions of that chorus uh, and some musical ideas. Um, I also am very keen to keep the uh, drama of the work the narrative of it at the fore of what we're doing so Maybe you sing a wrong note one day. I'm not so bothered about a wrong note here and there. I'm much more bothered about whether we've got the overall narrative of this incredible work coming across. Um, and the way that the structure, if you're new to this work, which I see that some people are in the comments, uh, the thing to bear in mind is that we have on the whole, the, the passion, the narrative of the passion running through. But amidst us, narrating the passion through our choruses and through our um, and through the recitative uh, which we're, we're not involved in the recitative is, is left to our soloists um, we have chorales interspersed and we have solo arias uh, which have been recorded by the wonderful cantos singers again um, so the chorales and the arias they really act as reflection on what's happened before or almost like um, a, a prayer really for the future. Um, so they, they're kind of our, if you like, our rest points or reflection points, let's call them. And then our choruses 
uh, are dramatic and and often the chorus have the most dramatic part to play in the St John Passion and I am so keen to keep the the drama of the chorus and the, the kind of the character that you the characters that you are in each chorus you're often different people um, at the fore of what why we're singing what we're singing you know why is this why do we kind of almost shout this three times why um, so that's kind of how we work in the um, in the course um, videos and you'll find that you've got four videos per voice part and I'm just looking at your voice part so I'm just working with the sopranos in your videos I'm just working with the altos in your videos um, and this is all uh, with the vision of them coming back together to sing through the whole work with the recitatives with the arias and feeling that full length the full structure of it so that we know when the drama pushes on and when it's ex forward and exciting and it's got momentum and when we take a step back and we reflect on what's happened or we think about the future so that's the the work um for anyone who's not guessed by how i'm so excited I think it's incredible and I think you are going to find it incredible too if you don't already know it. Um, the score situation, I can see a lot of people worried about either not having a score or not sure which edition they should be using. Well, there should be a score sent out uh, to your emails and it's quite important that you um, if you use that score, you know which numbers I'm using. There are two systems of numbering the St. John Passion. There are only two systems, but they appear in different editions. Uh, the score that I have sent out, which I will send again in the chat right now, is free, free to see online. And hopefully you can click that link in the chat. But that score online you, has both numbering systems on it. So that's really useful if you're, um, if you're not sure which, what kind of what I'm talking about or your, your numbers don't align with my numbers. The score I have sent around has both numbering systems on it. And the YouTube tracks, uh, the wonderful Mark who uploads, different Mark, who uploads all the, the uh, tracks to YouTube has used both numbering systems on those tracks. Now in the videos, I use uh, what is the Bärenreiter numbers. So I've got my wonderful blue Bärenreiter beautiful score. Um, and honestly, if, if you think, gosh, I love this work and I, I would like to invest in a vocal score, then I would totally invest in this one. It's so um, easy to see. It's really easily laid out. Um, however, the Bärenreiter can come at a little bit of a cost sometimes compared to other editions. Um, so it's fine, whichever version you use, as long as you're up to date with which numbering system you're using. Uh, so the Baron writer use, uh, the, the simple way is that it's numbered one to 40 and it has some letters in it. So it has like two A, two B, two C. The other system just simply uses numbers one to 68, I think it is. So hopefully, um, that's okay, and that all, will all make sense. Um, do I have anything else to say? I think I've gone through everything I wanted to go through in terms of how the course works. Have I, have I? I've made a little list, so I should really check, shouldn't I? Yes, I believe that's everything. So, um, if anyone has any questions, do pop them in the chat and I will endeavour to answer them. And I've just seen one comment, which is a very useful comment. For those of you who are new to the self-isolation choir, um, you'll know that the, um, uh, sorry, if you're not new, you'll know that the way the tracks work on YouTube is that the, um, you have just your voice part, so you can hear just the soprano line the entire way through the choruses, or you can hear all of the voice parts, so you can sing with what sounds like a full choir, or you can sing 
with all of the voice parts except your voice parts, which is the true test really, you know, how well do I really know this? If you are a soprano and you can manage to sing a chorus with just the alto tenor and bass next to you, then then you must be on top of it. <laughs> so um, so that's what, that's the, the, the difference in the different playlists that you'll find on YouTube. And if it were me, I mean, the really the course is what you make of it, but if it were me, I would spend a little bit of time with Robin's German pronunciation, then I would come to the musical director videos with me, maybe look at one big chorus with me, having looked at the German, and then I'd go and try it singing along with just my voice part on YouTube, then with the full choir, and then maybe just for a bit of fun, try it with only with my voice part missing. Um, but like I say, it's really um, up to you for kind of how you want, what you make of the course, you know, whether you decide to just do a full hour of, of my video and just go from one to seven with me, then by all means do that. That might be useful for those of you who have, who know the work already quite well. Um, so we use the NBA rather than BMW numbering as given in index. So in your index on your score, um, on the online score, yours goes from one to 68, um, but the numbers that you will be using, if you uh, are able to, if you've all got that score up, um, if you scroll down to page, if you scroll down to page 15, you'll see that there's a bracket uh, numbering NBA 2A on page 15, halfway down. And the numbers in brackets are the numbers that I'm using in my videos. So I will be using the, the ones with the letters in brackets there. So hopefully that's clear. Um, I think there are a number of live concerts. They've not been scheduled yet. So for those of you asking about the, the live concerts, uh, they're not quite scheduled, but I'm sure they will come in soon. The live concerts we sing with Cantos on YouTube. We sing along. Now I know that in the future, when we're allowed, uh, there is a, a rough plan that we could come together in person, which would be really the dream come true for us right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, uh, so that's the idea uh, that once we've gone through this together as a full run through on YouTube with, with all of the solos and everything and me conducting, um, that hopefully in the future we might even come together somewhere. Bear and Writer does conveniently have both in the index, you're right Jane. Um, great. Okay, well um, I'm going to leave that there for my introduction but uh, what we are going to do is a nice big massed warm-up together and then we're going to have a sing through the first movement just really to introduce us to the sound world. Um, so um, I'm not going to stand up just because of where of my setup but if you want to stand up then by all means do now um, and we'll just make sure that we're in a good a good place to start singing. So uh, feet shoulder width apart if you're standing if you're sitting then make sure that they're planted on the floor firmly and that you're actually thinking of using your feet um, we're thinking of a right angle in your legs if you're sitting down so that they're strong and you feel like you've got a base um, <clears throat> and then just grow through your spine so that you're just a little bit taller and prouder than normal thinking of growing through the back of your head rather than lifting your chin to get taller just thinking about elongating through the back of your head um, and sitting sitting proud or standing proud and then shrug your shoulders so that they feel tense and relax them and uh, shrug them up and relax them and one more feel tense and relax great and then just shake that out let's just uh, shake out your hands as well wriggly fingers and uh, we'll roll our heads just to one side. And as I do that, I just um, stretch, oops, wrong. <laughs> I've got a mirror image on my screen. Stretch with the opposite hand to the floor to just feel that, that pull along the side of your neck and back to the middle and to the other side, opposite hand now, just 
stretching to the floor so you can feel that nice neck stretch and back to the middle and now we'll look up at the ceiling and back to the middle always do this nice and slowly no rushing this and then down chin to chest and back up to the center okay um let's um energize some consonants because consonants are absolutely key to singing some very good german so um after me please shh from down here what what we want to be doing is giving the, the our tummy a little kind of flick inwards so that every single consonant isn't just energized from us being tense around our throat but it's actually energized from us giving it a kick from our uh tummies for simplifying it so i've just managed to pull my cable out cleverly hopefully i'm back in the room now um so um, let's try that again, but this time with a bit more of a hoo, hoo, hoo sort of feeling from our, our tummies. Okay, shh, 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 and shh, shh, shh. I wonder how that felt. I, I wonder if that had a little bit more to it, a little bit more buzz, okay? Now, uh, that's kind of uh, exciting and um, energetic, but now let's try a slow breathing exercise. So we're going to breathe in for four and we're going to breathe out to a shh for eight counts. And I want you to sustain that shh without it flapping around, you know, so it's just a, a pure beam of sound um, and you're in control. So we're really thinking about engaging our core muscles for it to stay very, very smooth. Okay, so breathing in two three four shh two three four five six seven eight that's it really sustaining that shh sound right to the end of the eight counts and feeling in control of it so for example could you now get louder towards the end of it because you're in control of it okay so this time we'll add a crescendo to the end of the shh as as we get to the end of the eight counts and I'll try to stop knocking my wire. Okay, I'm just getting so excited <laughs> that I keep pulling my headphones out. Okay, um, so breathing in for four and in, two, three, four, shh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Yeah, great, so you should be rid of all of your air by the end of the eight counts, okay? This time, why don't we put the, the height, the loudest part of the shh in the middle. So this time aim to be at the loudest part of it at kind of beat four or beat five, okay? Here we go, breathing in for four, breathing in low and deep and one, two, three, four, shh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and off. Great, okay, something pitched. Uh, here is a, a B flat major chord from here. We're going to sing uh, the word sing. So sing, so I'm on the NG of the word sing and it's very free and easy, please. I don't want beautifully, um, you know, sing. I want it to be free and easy, just kind of out of control, to be honest. Sing. Um, so with uh, the where we just got to from here, this is a, an E flat. Uh, we're going to now open to an R at the top. So sing ah, 
and sing no sing no sing no sing no sing no sing no one more sing no Fantastic. And as we ascend, uh, let's actually think now about energizing the top of your face, the, what I call the mask of your face. Can we think about that not necessarily being kind of uh, manic or Disney eyes, but just having a sense of oh, life to it. So that we're thinking about just slightly lifting our, our cheekbones. And as we breathe in for these, we'll have a, oh, a sense of Oh, just a little surprise about it. Okay, well, let's go down a little bit. We'll go from D major, and this time we're gonna have sing ah, and we're thinking of leaving our leaving the top part of our face up a little bit. Uh, here we go, and sing. So we shall uh, stop there for our sings and um, back by popular request, really, from the Lord's Prayer uh, live stream that we did uh, uh, last week, I think it was. No, two weeks ago. Um, we are going to do the numbers uh, which start like this. If you're new to these, you sing from one up to eight and back down to one in this pattern. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. And so on, all the way up to eight uh, and back down again. Let's try that first. Uh, those of you who have done this before will know that it only gets harder from here. Here we go. Two, three, four. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. those just so that everyone's on board. Here we go, slightly faster. Two, three, four. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so uh, this time, uh, instead of singing the number three, we are going to say, I'm going to have to pick a new word because we can't do the same words. Instead of singing the number three, we are going to say Bach. Okay? So you're not allowed to sing the number word three. Instead, you're going to sing the word Bach. Here we go. Two, three, four. One, one, two, one. One, two, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, five, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, five, six, five, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, Bach, two, one. Well, how's that going? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> this is not an easy exercise, but um, let's make it one step harder. Uh, so the number five now, number five, is going to be Herr, Herr, H-E-R-R, -R, nice German word, why not? Herr. So three is still Bach and five is now Herr. Should we go a little bit more slowly? Maybe for my sake? Here we go. Two, three, four. One, one, two, one. One, two, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, hair, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, hair, six, hair, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, hair, six, seven, six, hair, four, Bach, two, one. One, two, Bach, four, hair, six, seven, eight, seven, six, hair, four, Bach, two, one. <sighs> Gosh, I have to.
to say that that's one of the hardest I've ever done because those words were also quite hard. <laughs> um, people saying when English is not your first language, this is hard. Totally appreciate that. Uh, apologies, Joanne. <laughs> now, um, hopefully we're feeling a little bit warmed up um, on this Monday morning for me. Uh, I know it's uh, different times for many of you um, out there. Um, as I said, what, how I wanted to finish today was to just sing through the first chorus. So if you can now get your score ready uh, for the beginning, uh, we're just going to go right for it. So you'll hear the wonderful, wonderful organ of Westminster Cathedral that James plays uh, to introduce the, the work. And the, the introduction to the St John Passion is probably one of my favourite bits of music of all time. That was easier than Cat and Dog. Interesting. I'll just give everyone a couple of minutes to find their scores. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'm going to assume you're all ready now uh, and let's give this a go. So uh, from the beginning, this wonderful work. Let's see what you're made of.
brilliant. Well, I imagine for some that was a little bit of a baptism of fire, but that is okay. Uh, that is why we have the course. Um, so um, welcome to the St. John Passion course, and I hope you enjoy it. And I really look forward to seeing you for the live stream uh, full run throughs uh, once you've really got to grips with all of those chorus works. Um, thanks so much for being here today uh, and have a wonderful day or evening, depending on what time it is for you. Uh, goodbye.